Hi guys, it's week 31 in the English Premier League. We've got 11 fixtures to bring you, all for the title race, top four and relegation implications. So before we get started with Liverpool Watford, please like, subscribe, comment and share the videos. Hope you enjoy guys, here's Liverpool Watford. Hi guys, my prediction for week 31, Watford versus Liverpool. Um, Roy's boys lost 1-0 to... Uh, Fulham in the pre-season friendly a couple of days ago so I do think this will be a pretty convincing win for Liverpool Liverpool are very strong at the moment everybody's on a high morale is high um, playing quite well not conceding many goals obviously you've got the most overrated defender in the world at the back Van Dijk um yeah, I, I think this will be pretty easy win. I know Watford have been okay defensively since Roy's been back, not conceding many goals. But see so yeah, again, I think it'll probably be a three nil win to Liverpool. Um, probably Salah scoring two, and probably Mane. Brighton at home this weekend to uh, bottom of the table Norwich. Um, this can only go one way really a, a home win for Brighton but having said that both these teams are on a poor run of form with the uh, international break that we've just had maybe that's given both teams a chance to uh, to refocus, regroup um, but for Norwich they really are in the last chance saloon if they don't start picking up points very quickly they're going to be uh, back down in the championship um, they they are running out of time. Brighton, on the other hand, well, they're on a similarly uh, poor run of form. They uh, they're not going to get in any trouble really. But after all their early season promise to be where they are and losing games uh, quite consistently, it uh, could spell trouble um, for their manager. Um, not the just not uh, producing the results that perhaps their performances and, as I said, early season promise deserve. Having said all that, uh, a scoreline prediction, I'll go for 2-0 Brighton. I really can't see Norwich getting anything out of the game. Um, if they do, well, fair play to them. They, they're, they're still in there uh, fighting. But, as I said, I can't see it. I think Brighton. Premier League predictions, week 31. The match I've been given is Burnley versus Manchester City. Title race is fully on right now. Liverpool versus Manchester City. I think this game is crucial for Man City. They need the three points. Hence why I think they will be going out guns blazing. Burnley, on the other hand, not on the best form. Fighting for survival down the bottom. And again, Sean Dice. Sean Dice, he does pull it out the bag here and there against top teams. He does like to play. He's an annoying style of play when it comes to big teams. However, I think Man City again, they're going for the title. It's going to be one-sided. One they're going to be hungry for it. And I can see Manchester City coming with a convincing 4-1 win. Chelsea versus Brentford. This weekend, three o'clock. Um... It's going to be a good game for me. I think uh, Brentford are going to surprise Chelsea in the way they come out. I think they will have chances. But obviously, Chelsea are going to be the favourites. Let's not make no mistake about that. And they fully expect to get the win. But I always look at logic. And for me, Newcastle and, and Brentford are not that far apart. And Newcastle probably should have won. So Brentford will take spirit from that. And I think they'll go into this game with confidence. I think most fans will take a draw, nil-nil, boring game sort of game where you, you don't mind that. Um, Chelsea will probably expect to win this by maybe a couple of goals. Um, obviously, as much as I want to see Brentford do well, I'm realist and I think I think Brentford will be lucky to get anything out of this. Not one of these games where they need to win. It's a free hit, as I keep saying. So, yeah, I'm going to go for Chelsea to win this 1-2-0. Leeds Southampton. Leeds are entertainment to watch. They're a really good team. They're in the relegation battle, though, but they've all won a home win. But... Um, Southampton are a hard team to beat and for Brentford we do need South Southampton to win 
so I'm going to say Southampton win 1 0. Wolves versus Aston Villa. Wolves have had a very solid season, uneventful, gone under the radar. Bruno Large getting the job done. Aston Villa starting to look okay, but they've had a turbulent season. Started off badly with Dean Smith. Stevie G's come in, it looks stable now. They're in and around the places they should be. So both teams have been in a bit of patchy form recently, although for the whole season have been solid. I can see this being another cagey game for both, and this stage of the season could even end up being a nil-nil draw. I'd like to think Wolves could nick one, but I'm going to stick with that original decision of nil-nil. My game this week is Man United v Leicester. Um, I think we're all waiting for Man United to sort of get back on form. I mean, the, the team's too good not to. Um, at least compete for the top four place with Arsenal and Tottenham. Um, I can see now with the final international break of the season, um, just past that. Uh, I think Man going to go on a good run of games without uh, without defeat, so they're going to be closing Arsenal down, in my opinion. Um, some might say this is a hard game for Leicester, but I look at Leicester; they just they may be attractive in terms of trying to score goals, but they leak too many goals, and they're just not. I just don't rate Leicester. They're a good team, but they're not a team that you, you fear and uh, the Gallo Old Trafford. And I can just see your Man United comfortable win this one. Um, I'm going to go for a 3 1 United win. I'm going to go for an Aldo to score two. I'm going to go for Rashford to, to score one. Um, and I think James Madison will pull a consolation back. So it'll be 3 0 United. Three, uh, Leicester will get one late. Um, and as I said, this is the game where I think um, May United now will kick on and um, get a few wins under their belt and, you know, close um, Spurs and Arsenal for the top four sport. It's going to be an interesting last few weeks, but uh, don't rule out May United. Um, we're going to go again for May United 3, Leicester 1. So this week, my league game uh, prediction is West Ham versus Everton. Um, if I'm honest, I can really see this going one way. And that's a West Ham win. I don't think Everton have really progressed any under Lampard. Um, and they probably should have, just, with how the season's progressed, probably should have just stuck with Rafa. Um, like I said, I can only see this going one way. And I'm going to go 3-0 West Ham win. Week 31, Spurs-Newcastle, Premier League predictions. Um, obviously, Newcastle, the last couple of months, been on a good run. Got themselves away from the relegation zone. Um, obviously brought a few players in, which has helped. Um, so I think they'll be absolutely fine. You know, even if they lose this one, they'll, they'll be fine. They've got enough about them. And there's some worse teams in the league than them. Spurs, obviously under Conte, um, you know, serial winner. One of the things wherever he's been hasn't quite got it right at Spurs yet, but he's not been there that long. So I think he will do. If he stays there next season, I think he'll turn him around, turn him into um team to... Um, you know, challenge certainly the top four and cup competitions. I'm not going to challenge for the league, um, but yeah, I think he'll do. Uh, I think he'll do better there next season if he stays there. Uh, as as for the game, obviously uh, Spurs at home. Um, they're up to fifth. They'll be chasing Arsenal for that fourth spot. Um, obviously with Kane in the side and Son, you know, boys got a chance of winning games. Them two scoring goals. Kane's. Um, you know, obviously, absolutely world class. And so, Son's a top top player. Um, just think defensively at times, I've got a few frailties. Spurs that you can get at them, and the goalkeeper occasionally uh, messes up. But I, th- I think they'll win this one. I, I, th- I know Newcastle so they've done well last couple of months, but I just think they're going to fall short here. Um, I think Spurs are going to run out winners in this one by three one. Right, we have a bonus game on two week. 31. It is during the week. It's Burnley versus Everton. Now this is going to be a cagey affair. Obviously Everton are not clear of relegation uh, and Burnley are currently in relegation. Now um, I think this is a game where it probably is narrowed for a draw but if there is a winner it's going to be by maybe one goal and it could be a 1-0 win for whoever gets it. Uh, I think Everton are the better side on paper. They have still got too much quality in their team for me to be where they are. Uh, I think they just need to start playing football with freedom. I think Frank's panicking. If they go out and play football and dominate the game, they'll win the game. Burnley have always been Burnley. Uh, 
if you if you get an early go against them, they're always in trouble. The longer the game goes, the more chances they have. Um, I'm actually going to go for an away win here. I think Everton win this one. 1-0.